of high school basketball. Tonight, the Cardinals on the road to take on the Irondale Knights, a little non-conference action. Knights coming in at 2-0. The Cardinals still looking for their first win. Win, win went to th uh, five sets against Chisago Lakes, but came up short. They've been closer in each match so far. Lost to Cambridge Isani in three, then lost last week on CTN in four games after taking the opening set against uh, Totino Grace and then against Chisago Lakes. They lost in five sets. And now first day of school for the Cardinals. I believe the Knights may have started the school year today as well. There's a look at Janine Crooks, her first year as the head coach of the Cardinals. Seeing some progress from her team match after match. Hoping that will continue, but a big test for him here. Tom Rotewald's, or Rotefeld's uh, Knights have won both of their matches uh, against St. Anthony and St. Francis in straight sets. They have not allowed an opponent over 20 points, over 19 points in any set so far this season. Fredrickson will serve, and we are underway. First attack for the Knights is picked up. Bella Bresnahan from the right side. Knights handle it. Come back with Maddie Herzog. She gets the kill and starts the scoring for the home squad. Just watching in warm-ups, couple of big hitters for the Knights. Herzog at the service line. That pass way in tight to the net. The Cardinals touch the net, and that will cost them the point. Herzog back to the service line. And serving up an ace and a quick 0-3 hole for Coon Rapids. to back aces, it's 4-0. Very early substitution for Coon Rapids. Another look, just a little drop shot. This serve picked up by Walitka. The attack is long, and it's 5-0 in favor of Irondale. Licka again picks it up in the middle. Fowler tips it across. Caldwell there to pick it up. Waiting and playing it over is Tronowski. Set goes to Bresnan. Her attack, Tronowski is there. Set right at the net. Fowler tipped it back over. Attack from the left side and a kill for Gabby Caldwell. And no, it is going to be Point Coon Rapids. Bounced off the top of the net and did not come down in bounds. I believe this is Amelia Fredrickson. A little discussion with the official. Ellie Jacob went over to get some a couple of players from the JV squad up. Getting a shot at varsity, including Amelia Fredrickson. Attack is shut down at the net by Michaela Wilbur. Another look at it. Great position for the block. Oh, but it did end up out of bounds, so it will be 
a successful kill for Gabby Caldwell. Tipped over by Olivia Fredrickson. Attack in the middle is wide. Out of play and a side out back to Coon Rapids. Serving is Fowler. Near the back line is Tronowski. Set up for Mandel, but her spike is long. Coon Rapids has trimmed it back to a three-point lead. And Fowler will get the ace. Not handled well by Rhea Mandel. Tronowski near the back line. Attack picked up by one Fredrickson. The set by the other Fredrickson played over. And a quick turn for Irondale. Caldwell's attack was picked up, but then the attempt by Wilbur into the net, so it'll be a side out and point for Irondale. Isabel Lee into the match, and she'll take over at the service line for Irondale. And she'll get another ace for the home team. <laughs> that service is long. Service error will give the point in the Serve back to the Cardinals. Wisely calling Wolitkoff, and it goes long. Bella Bresnahan will step to the service line for Coon Rapids. That pass back a little too long, and Wilbur just went up too early. Nine five lead for Ellie Jacob at the service line. And a timeout, Coon Rapids. A very quick conversation at the bench for Coach Janine Crooks and her squad. Rodefeld going to take some time. He's got to like where his team is, but with how they started, would like to see if they can spread that lead out again. You get a full minute on the timeout, you may as well use it. Now Ellie Jacob will return to the service line. 9-5 lead for Irondale. Jacob, one of the four captains for the Knights. Just a set too close to the net. Wilbur couldn't get to it as it bounced off the top of the net. And another missed touch by the Cardinals. Back down by five, 10 5. Walitka receives. Livia Fredrickson passes it, played over by Wilbur. Set for Mandel, partially blocked. Set will go to Wilbur on the left side. She hammers it through the block for the kill. 
Gets the side out back for the Cardinals. Wilbur had a very strong match against Atino when we did the game last week, and I think ended up with 15 kills in the match against Chisago. Quick set in the middle, tipped over into the floor by Brooklyn Oliver. And the Knights take it right back. Now to put Rhea Mandel at the service line. Pass in close, Fredrickson tips it over. Set comes to the right side. That might have been going long, but it was picked up by the Cardinals. Played over by Walitka right into the hole. And Coon Rapids will get the side out. Maybe not the way they wanted it, but they'll take any point they can get. The attack, I think, was definitely going long. A little miscommunication as Fredrickson and Walitka tripped up against each other, but ends up on the floor. Mid-court attack from Peyton Howie. In the middle, getting it through the block was Madison Fowler. Trim the lead back to three, 11-8 in favor of Irondale on the, in this first set. Oliver plays it over. Cardinals set it up. Fredrickson didn't get a lot on it. And Irondale touched the net, so it'll be Cardinal point. Lick his serve is long. Oliver will take over at the service line, up 12-9 here in the opening set. And a long serve will give it right back to the Cardinals. Olivia Fredrickson to serve, picked up by Oliver, set in the middle. Cameron, we had a cardinal touch on the net, so. Herzog serving, picked up by Amelia Fredrickson. Attacked by Bresnahan, the Knights able to pick it up. Played over by Caldwell and way long. Coon Rapids point. Pretty sloppy first set so far on both sides. A lot of missed touches, long attacks. High pass in close to the net. Cardinals able to dig it free, but Wilbur got a piece of the net, so back over it goes. Mia Tranowski, another one of the Irondale captains to serve it. Wolitka there to pick it up. Set goes to Wilbur, she is stuffed at the line. Rhea Caldwell getting up and serving up the denial. Good receive, Fowler on the attack. Set in a power kill for Rhea Mandel. Watching her in, in warm up, she's strong, tall player and 
Likes to hit from that right side and right to that back corner, no doubt about it. And a five point lead for Irondale. Good pick up for Wilbur, the set in too close. And again, we see a point on a bad touch. 17-11 now the lead for Irondale. And an ace for Tronowski. Irondale now with their biggest lead so far. Another timeout for Coon Rapids. Trailing by seven late in this first set. Cardinals have not been able to find any real rhythm. Irondale hasn't found a lot, but they have gotten on a couple of streaks, particularly to start the match 5-0 or the set. And here have scored five straight. Trying to keep the roll going with momentum on their side, the home crowd behind them. Look at the student section. Good crowd on hand. Moundsview schools is requ are requiring that fans in attendance to indoor games wear masks. Announcement was made before we started. Tronowski to serve again. Picked up by Amelia Fredrickson, the set for Fowler. Got it off the top of the block attempt. Caldwell attacking and she'll get the kill. it over a great diving save by Ellie Jacob a quick turn and a point for the Knights they lead 20 to 11 here in the first set Set in the middle, Bresnahan. But the Knights able to pick it up. Played back over by Peyton Howie. Here's Bresnahan again. Therefore, it was Brooklyn Oliver. This one just punched over by Jacob. Huge kill for Wilbur to finally end that streak and get the Cardinals an opportunity to try and chip away at the lead here late in the first, hit, uh, late in the first set. Fowler serve into the net. Seda Green and Kate Califut are in for Coon Rapids. Service by Meslowski. Set for Bresnan and to kind of Ben back for it, but put it in a spot they couldn't return. Keeps the Cardinals hopes alive here in this opening set. Bresnahan will head to the service line. And Bresnahan serves up the ace.
Strong attack from Jacob, but the Cardinals able to turn it around and the pass over finds the floor. Cardinals creep a little bit closer. And Bresnahan with another ace. Jacob made a valiant effort to go to the floor for it, but could not control it, played it into the net. And the lead back down to five. Just tipped over by Mandel. Here comes Wilbur, and she gets it through the block for the kill. And another ace, third ace of this service for Bresnahan. The Knights want to take a timeout as their once nine point lead is now down to three. See if they can stop the momentum. Been a great service for Bella Bresnahan. See if she can keep it going after the timeout. Back set and the kill. For Maddie Herzog, gets the side out and ends that streak. Knights just three points away from ending this first set. Ellie Jacob at the service line. Walitka there to receive. Set for Wilbur. Great diving save by Jacob. Jacob will then push it over. Set across, Wilbur fires long, just long. A lot of power on it, but just past the end line. Set in the middle and a big stuff, this time for Brooklyn Oliver. And it'll be set point. Oliver just ready for Caliphate. Put it right back to the floor. And Jacob serves up the ace. Fifth ace of the first set for Irondale and they take the opening Set 25 to 18. We'll take a short break. Be back with the second set after this. You're watching live high school volleyball on CTF. Access your ticket behind the scenes of Coon Rapids Sports. Studio and Howie, it feels great to be back behind the desk. I can't think of too many things better in life. How about you? I can think of one. Because it's an all-out sprint it's a... to the finish. Okay. Kind of like your life. They host Elk River on Tuesday, and Howie? We'll be there. And there you go. It's <laughs> contagious. <laughs> like it's all your fault. Yeah, of course it is. 
Sports Night. I'm Joe Young. I'm yeah. Joey. I'm Joe. I'm Joe Young this week. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not so sure how good we'll look on HD, but you know. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I try. I do. Back at Iredale High School, the Knights a 25-18 win in the opening set. They took control from the opening serve and they never looked back. They jumped out to a 5-0 lead. Coon Rapids kept it close, kept trying to come back, but uh, never able to get closer than three points in the entire first set. A lot of miss hits as I talked about on both sides. Uh, some sloppy play. A lot of service aces from both. Nine total service aces. Five for Irondale. And fittingly, that's how it ended. On a service ace, a 25-18 win in the opening set for Irondale. And Coon Rapids will have to regroup and see if they can find a way to bounce back. The, didn't have a lot of rhythm uh, in that opening set, but did go on a on a little streak. Scored seven straight from being down. I guess it wasn't seven straight, but they were down 2011. They came back to make it 21-18. And during that run, Bella Bresnahan at the service line at three service air or three service aces. Definitely helping. Referees just sorting out, making sure all the right players are on the floor in the right spots. Janowski will check in the libero for Irondale. And now we'll be underway. Herzog with a serve diving save. Set up for Wilbur, she gets the kill, and the Cardinals get the first point here in the second set. Quick side out, and Wilbur will go to the service line. In the middle, and the kill for Peyton Howie. We'll turn it right around. Tronowski at the service line for Irondale. Picked up by Shevchuk. Attack by Fowler picked up. Big stuff by Bresnahan. The Knights scramble and able to push it across and find the floor. And the Cardinals, I think, uh, thought it was over. Breathed a sigh of relief. Instead, Howie's able to push it to that back corner where no Cardinals could recover. I mean, it looked like Bresnahan had it shut down on the attack by Caldwell, or actually it was by Ellie Jacob on that left side. And the attack by Wilbur into the net. The block was set by Peyton Howie, but caught the top of the tape and came back. Tronowski serving. Wolitka there to receive. Green sets for Bresnahan, and she is stuffed in the middle with Peyton Howie and Rhea Mandel just ready for it. 
And again, a quick lead early in the set. Mandela force both offensively and defensively. From midcourt, Wilbur will get the kill. Get the side out for the Cardinals. Coon Rapids really needs to keep Irondale from building a big lead early. Fowler serves long. Some subs for Irondale. And it'll be Cora Meslowski going to the service line. Picked up by Wilbur, the set for Amelia Fredrickson, and she will get the kill. That'll put Bella Bresnahan at the service line. As I talked about, she was at the service line for Coon Rapids' best run in the first set. Set up in the middle, Mandel stuffed by Fredrickson. The Knights able to recover, though, and end up getting the side out in the point. It was Ellie Jacob who put it over, and Coon Rapids could not recover. Now Jacob at the service line. Another look at a great play underneath the net there by Maddie Herzog. Made it all possible. It's twice already in this set where Coon Rapids has had a great defensive play, but Irondale able to recover. The attack by Mandel is wide, a side out back to Coon Rapids. Tatum Shevchuk will head to the service line. Coon Rapids trailing 6-4 here in the second set. Set in the middle, Oliver was picked up by, by Walitka, but the Knights called for a bad touch. Coon Rapids back within one. Tronowski is there from the middle, just pushed over by Jacob. Cardinals pass it back across. Big power from Herzog, but Coon Rapids touched the net. Mandel waiting at the service line. Into the net, side out back to the Cardinals. Howie will play it over from midcourt. Walitka is there. Green sets for Fowler, and Fowler will get the kill. And we are tied at seven here in the second set. Coon Rapids trying to answer after losing the opening set, 25-18. Look his serve, picked up by Howie. Takes some time, Oliver plays it over. Famicet, and a big stuff in the middle again as uh, is Brooklyn Oliver setting the block this time. And now Oliver at the service line. And Oliver puts an ace on the board.
quick thinking there by Ellie Jacob. Saw the Cardinals out of position, pushed it to the back corner. Faviseth makes a great effort to get to it, but no chance. And now a long serve from Oliver will be a side out back to Coon Rapids. Seda Green will go to the service line. Howie blocked by Bresnahan. Knights able to recover. Faviseth there to pick it up. And Wilbur's attack into the net. Sends the ball right back to Irondale. And Herzog serve into the net. We'll give it right back to Coon Rapids. Michaela Wilbur, one of the Cardinal captains, to serve. Her team trailing 11-9 here in the second. The attack and the kill for Ellie Jacob. Sadie Green trying to dig it out in too close to the net. Not able to do so. Wilbur will just push it over. Fast play in close to the net. Now an attack and just long. That one did not miss by much, just past the end line for Kelsey Lammy. <laughs> Big kill there for Maddie Herzog. Coon Rapids tried to recover her off of the backboard, but it was not to be. Maslowski to the service line. Wilbur. Goes to the floor to receive. Bresnahan plays it over. Tronowski is there. Set and the kill for Ellie Jacob. Bresnan plays it over. Set up for Jacob again. Tried to go down that line and just long. Good thought. The corner of the court was open. You can see got it past the block attempt, but just past the end line. 15-11 as Bresnahan serves again for Coon Rapids. Set to Jacob this time on the near side. Blocked out of bounds. Jacob gets the kill. And the ball right back for the Irondale Knights. Now 16-11 here in set number two. Bresnahan from midcourt. Bounced it off the top of the tape. A little help from the net. Gets the side out right back for the Cardinals.
That's exactly how she planned it. Tatum Shevchuk to serve. Near the back line, Oliver in the middle. And Oliver will get the kill. Back to a five point lead and back to the service line goes Rhea Mandel. And she serves up an ace. Serve receive has been a tough part for really both teams, but more so for the Cardinals here tonight. Wilbur a good receive. Tipped over by Seda Green, did not fool the Knights. And a cross court kill for Gabby Caldwell. Again, in a place the Cardinals just cannot effectively receive. Coach Kirks calls a timeout. Her team trailing 20 to 12 here in danger of going down two sets to none. Coach Rodefeld, I'm sure, as all coaches, will still have things he wants to see his team do better, but for the time being, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. But at the same time, yeah, you always want to clean up the little things so that you get deeper into the season. The little things you see at this point do not continue to trouble your team. Off to a great start. And so is that young man. To a great start in walking. Soon we'll be running, and then Dad will go, why did I teach him to walk? Eventually they do figure it out, and then they start running, and you can never keep up with them again. Mandel's serve into the net. Give Coon Rapids a chance here late in set number two to try and trim into this lead. Emma Walitka at the service line. And she serves it long. That'll put Oliver at the service line for Irondale. A healthy lead, and she makes it bigger with another ace. Nice spin on that one, just died in front of Faviset. This time goes longer and harder and same result. Back to back aces for Brooklyn Oliver. The Knights two points away from taking a two sets to none lead. 23-13, their largest point lead of the match so far in the middle, Fowler. Oliver went to the floor and sent it right back over. Wilbur blocked out of bounds, so that'll get the side out. Big kill for Wilbur at that point. But now they absolutely, positively need a long streak here with Seda Green going to the service line, trailing 23-14. And Seda Green will serve up the ace. One just played over by Peyton Howie. Set for Bresnahan on the right side. Knights able to recover. And that one fired long by Gabby Caldwell. <laughs> A 
Lammy picks up the serve. The attack by Herzog. Cardinals pick it up. Wilbur is stuffed at the line by Howie. And it'll be set point Iredale. Maddie Herzog. Picked up by Wolitka. Wilbur will play it over. A little miscommunication and scramble on the floor for Irondale allows it to fall, and Coon Rapids will stay alive here in this second set. Wilbur to the service line, her team trailing 17 to 24. Great serve, passed right back over. Cardinals set it up for Bella Bresnahan. Therefore, it is Tronowski set in the middle. Howie hammers it right into the chest of Seda Green for the kill. And that will give Irondale the 25-17 lead. They now have a two sets to none lead. We'll have the third set after this on CTN. Watching your favorite Cardinal Sports Live is getting even easier. Whether it's CTN Cable Channel 859, the CTN Facebook and YouTube pages, or now live on our Twitter page. You choose how you want to watch Cardinal Nation. With CTN, you'll be able to catch all the big plays, all the emotion, and all the fun of Coon Rapids sports. CTN Coon Rapids, stay connected. Back at Irondale High School, the Knights, a two sets to none lead. Coon Rapids won the opening point of the second set. It's the only lead they've had so far tonight. Irondale not putting too many lo really long streaks together, but enough to, to get themselves in front and keep themselves there. Uh, Coon Rapids staying close through most of it. But uh, Irondale able to build that lead up to 10 points late and then hold on for the 25-17 win. Again, service aces were a big part of it. They had four more in the second set. They played well at the, at the net defensively and offensively tonight. And really have kept Coon Rapids from getting any real rhythm through either of the first two sets. Coon Rapids will have the serve to start the third set. Seda Green awaits. Referees making sure they have the right personnel in the right positions. And Green serve into the net. And just uh, looking at their, their first couple of matches for Irondale, the, the third set has been their strongest. Didn't even allow St. Francis, maybe it was St. Anthony, did not allow double digits in the third set, but a missed serve on the other side, and they just hand each other a point. And we'll start out one all. Tatum Shevchuk. See if she can put it in play. Picked up by Oliver, played across the attack and the kill for Ellie Jacob. And now Tronowski 
will head to the service line for Irondale. Willicka receives, set by Green. Wilbur is blocked, but out of bounds. Willicka, or, uh, Wilbur will get the kill. Coon Rapids will get the side out. Green able to pick up that attack. They came with Jacob, and that one right to the back line. Successful kill for Ellie Jacob. Fredrickson is blocked, good dig by Bresnahan. Wilbur pops it over. Another big block by Bresnahan and Fredrickson. Favisith digs it out in close to the net and good effort by Sada Green, but could not keep from going over the line. Faviseth receives. Green leaves it there for Wilbur. Took a little something off. The attack by Howie, picked up by Faviseth. In the middle is Fredrickson. She'll get the kill. Pavis has passed too far, and Brooklyn Oliver there to just push it to the floor. The side out right back for the Knights. Wilbur didn't get the angle she wanted, plays it into the net. Wilbur pushes it over. Herzog on the attack. Cardinals can't recover. Herzog gets the kill. Irondale a 6-3 lead here in the third. And this has been their MO through the first two sets is get in front early and keep yourself there. Sada Green tried to tip it over. Didn't get quite enough of it. And as I mentioned, in each of their first two matches, I think the third set was their most convincing victory. I think one was 25-11 and one was 25-9. Big kill for Amelia Fredrickson. Good power from the center right there. Five nine against St. Francis. Service was long from Wilbur. Gives it right back. 25-10 was uh, their third set score against St. Anthony. So, they've only given up 19 points in the third set in those two matches combined. That's pretty impressive shutdown play when you have that 2-0 lead. And here they're up 8-4 trying to close it out. This one played over by Shevchuk. 
Tipped across, Shevchuk is there. Shevchuk will attack. Knights are ready. Set goes to Herzog. Cardinals ready this time. Fredrickson. His attack was picked up. Good volley going here. Fredrickson again. Knights able to scramble and get it. Pushed over, and they will get the point. It's pushed over smartly, smartly by Maslowski. Service into the net for Rhea Mandel. And that'll put Walitka at the service line for Coon Rapids. Set in the middle. And there was no doubt on that one from Maddie Herzog. A senior dominated roster for Irondale, and that definitely helps. Santa Green pushes it over. Knights able to recover. Fowler pushes it back over. Bresnahan attacks. Lee picks it up near the back line. Over for Herzog. Green did not get the touch she wanted. And the Knights will keep the pressure on. Oliver's serve received by Wilbur, and that one just out of the reach of Shevchuk. Having big attacks is always great, but you have to be able to serve, receive first, and pass well. Vivian Peplo into the game for the first time, and that one right into the corner for the ace for Brooklyn Oliver. Cardinals thought this one was going out, and instead right to the corner. Yund officially her fourth ace of the match. Shevchuk attacking. Knights are ready. In the middle, Peyton Howie gets the kill. Lead has grown to nine. Cardinals scramble, but cannot pick that one up. That one was served right at the chest of Wilbur and maybe caught her off guard a little bit. Cardinals not able to recover and now found them, find themselves down by 10. Irondale trying to finish the sweep. They've had a perfect start to their season so far. Here in their third match, they have yet to lose a set. Opening with a 3-0 three, three win over St. Francis. That one went 25-17, 25-19, 25-9. And then... Uh, on Wednesday the 1st, they beat uh, beat St. Anthony 25-11, 25-19, and 25-10. So pretty much following, following their script here with wins of 25-18 and 25-17 in the first two sets. And now they've jumped to a 10-point lead at 15-5, trying to close out the Cardinals. Brooklyn Oliver. At the service line. 
Shevchuk will pass it over. Lee picks it up. The set, the attack for Howie, and the kill. Several different weapons on that side of the net, and they do a real nice job of spreading the ball around and keeping the defense guessing as to which way that set is going, as I talked about with the senior lineup and a setter that is familiar with all of the different attackers she has. Madison Fowler able to get a kill and finally get a side out for the visiting Cardinals. That'll put Peplo at the service line. Big power kill for Maddie Herzog. Gets the ball right back for Irondale. And then Herzog to the service line. Picked up by Walitka. Bresnahan. Miss hit into the net. And the lead has grown to 12, 18 to 6. Bresnahan just pushes it over. Lee is there. Attack from Jacob. Cardinals able to recover. Bresnahan has to just pass it over. Great dig by Wilbur, but Peplo had to slide underneath the net to get it, and that gives the point to Irondale. Long pass back, but a good dig and good quick tip there at the net by Madison Fowler. Attack and a kill for Ellie Jacob. Gets the side out right back and a 20 to seven lead for Irondale. Irondale had a little confusion on their side of the net, so they'll call a timeout. Certainly feeling pretty good about where they're at and their chances of closing this out. Football team on the road in Buffalo on Friday. Unfortunately, the CTN truck is otherwise occupied, but Howie and I will still be there. Single camera. Won't have all the replays and things that we're used to, but we'll still be there to bring you the action as the Cardinals take on the Bison. Boys and girls soccer doubleheader against the Blaine Bengals on Tuesday the 14th. And then football at Elk River on Friday the 17th, and the truck will be there for that one. Cardinals with their backs against the wall, trailing two sets to zero and down 20 to seven here in the third. Still some questions as far as the rotation.
Well, they finally got it figured out, and Mia Tranowski at the service line. Or at least we thought they had it figured out. Our officials are going to discuss it. Cardinals coach Janine Crooks up at the scorer's table to get an explanation as well. An interesting long delay here late in the third set. Certainly more beneficial you would think for Coon Rapids as they try to slow the momentum of the Knights. Captain with Kayla Wilbur over discussing with the up judge along with Ellie Jacob of Irondale. Now some substitutions. Isabel Lee back on the floor. Now I think maybe we have it all sorted out. Tronowski is at the service line. Pass in tight to the net and it's bumped by Peplo. And a point for Irondale. Coach Kirks wanted her captain to go over and get an explanation about something, and now we'll return to the bench, and Tronowski will return to the service line. 21-7 the lead for Irondale here in the third, trying to finish a sweep of the Cardinals. It'll be their third sweep to start the season, if they can do it. Wilbur fires it wide. letting it go. Carey called. And Tronowski back to the service line now up by 23 to 7 score. It's two points away, but that's into the net. Maddie Fowler will go to the service line and no pressure. You just need a 16 to 1 run here at least. Try and extend it to a fourth set. Set goes to Howie. She gets the kill and it'll be match point. My scorebook, three different players with five or more kills for Irondale. Peyton Howie, Maddie Herzog, and Ellie Jacob. 
one picked up by Walitka. Bresnahan's attack picked up by Herzog. Played across by Jacob. Set for Wilbur. Knights are ready. Big block, but again, the Knights able to recover. They go right back to Jacob. Got it through the block, but picked up by Wilbur. Bresnahan plays it to the back line. Tronowski picks it up. In the middle is Howie, and Howie will get the kill. And that will end the match. As I mentioned, they just followed their script. They continue to get stronger set after set. And after a relatively sloppy first set on both sides of the net, Irondale able to put some streaks together, especially in the third, and they just dominate the third set on their way to the 25 to eight victory. Three and oh go the Knights. All three winning in straight sets, but still very early in the season. For Coach Crooks and her Cardinals, they fall to 0-4 on the season. But uh, again, a long season. They'll try and take some positives and some lessons learned from this one as they move on. We will move on with football Friday night at Buffalo. And again, boys so and girls soccer doubleheader against the Blaine Bengals on Tuesday. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, it's Irondale in three, 25-18, 25-17, and 25-8. I want to thank everybody out there for joining us and continuing to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, including Howie Shapiro in absentia, I'm Joe Young saying goodnight.